This, ladies and gentlemen, is the new Hover X1, which is basically a flying selfie camera. So I want to know, is this any good for capturing motorcycle content? Hold on a sec, you're a bit noisy, come here. I've been using this for the past probably six weeks, testing out in different environments, seeing if it's a good camera to use on a motorcycle. I mean, I've got Mavic drones, but they're always a bit of a faff to actually get in the air, so I never bother actually using them. This one, two presses of the buttons, and it's in the air, it's flying. It's got no GPS, it's all based on very, very clever AI, which automatically follows a person. But, can that be used for motorcycle content? Let's get out on the tracer and see if this new camera could be the latest best thing in capturing motorcycle content. Jopsy, roll the intro. So here we are out, beautiful day, sun's out, it's about eight degrees, no wind, absolutely perfect conditions for playing with one's drone. So as you can see, the hover comes in like a really small little uh, little pack here. So this is a tiny thing to have to carry around with you. So that's one of the sort of amazing benefits with this, of this little thing, is just how easy it is to manage because it's so small. And that size, you know, includes the, the two batteries as well. So what you do, get the batteries out or one of the batteries out, unfold the device. And this is the best thing about this, about the hover, is just how darn easy it is to sort of get in the air. So you do that, you do that, you turn it on. Current mode, hover. Current mode, hover. There's a button on the top. Zoom out. Follow. Orbit. So the great thing about this is I've not got my phone out. I've not been messing about of any apps. I've just turned it out, pressed the button, turned it on, and choose what you want. Hover. Let's just start with a basic hover. Bang. Hover. Put it on your hands. And it's hovering, you know, it's as simple as that. And that will now sort of follow me, not follow me, but, you know, just point at me as I walk around. And, you know, you, you're in the air instantly, you know, but don't think of this as a full on drone. I mean, this, I think this has got a maximum height of about, I think it's about 30 feet or something. So you can't do those big overhead panoramics, but this is a flying selfie camera. And when you've had enough, bring your hand underneath. It's got little sensors underneath which detect for flip it over. There's your little sensor. So, you know, if you're going to crash this, it only knows what height it is. It waits for your hand to go underneath. So this whole thing, it's all about AI. So you know, this is all AI driven. So it's recognizing me as a human and it's, it's flying itself. It's not relying on anything else. So let's just try the follow mode. Zoom out. Zoom out. Follow. follow. Let's go for a bit of follow. That might affect it because it's got a lock onto me. Now I've configured it, I think for, I can't think how far away I've had it configured me to follow me. Yeah, it's obviously following me like that. So I can now move around and this damn thing is gonna follow me all over the place. And remember, you know, this isn't GPS. This is just using, you know, the sort of algorithms. Let's see if we can get away from the bloody thing. <laughs> It's good you've not got guns attached, is it? That's the future, isn't it? I'm getting hunted by one of these bloody things. And when you've had enough, walk towards it, hand out, and it should come down and land on me. Come on now, come on you. It's like trying to catch a bird. Let's tuck that in. Come on. There we go, there we go. Good girl, good girl. So that's the follow. So you can get it to follow you on the motorcycle. I've tested it, we'll do it in a minute. This whole review is like, is this any good if you want to use this for motorcycle content? And uh, I think it is, I think it is. So that's the follow. Orbit. orbit. This is like your normal sort of 2.5 meter orbit. So now it will just <coughs> go away 2.5 meters. Like so, and it'll just do, a, I think I've got it set to do two, two orbits of me, so it'll just fly around me. You know, like you do, if you just want a bit of content on your bike where you're getting ready, get that up there to orbit. High, high, high orbiting me, and then it'll start recording, and then it'll stop recording once it's finished its, its orbit, you know. So there we go, look at that. 
just going to orbit me. And, and the thing I love about this is, as I say, it's, it's no faff. It's so small, zero faff getting phones out. Because this is the worst thing if you've got a proper drone. I've got a proper drone. There's so much faffage. We'll just compare the faffage in a minute to a normal drone. If you just want this sort of shot, you know. Two orbits, I think I had set. Come on. And I say, you can go into the app and configure if you want it to orbit closer, further away. I think this is the medium orbit, I think. You can have it orbit further away if you want it. There you go, two orbits. It will come back to where it started. Being blinded by the sun here. Put your hand out. Come on in, my darling. There she goes. <laughs> and because all the propellers are caged, you know, it, it, if, it, if it crashes and bangs into things, it's so light, 125 grams all this ways, and it doesn't really damage itself, it's pretty robust. Bird eye, I don't even know what that one is. Let's see what the bird eye is. 15 metres straight up, look of it. 15 metres, that's pretty high. Go on then, do your bird eye. I think, you, I think it's going to go up on bird eye, I've not tried this one. There she goes. Is it going to follow me in bird eye? We're just going to go up. It's just going to go. <laughs> Watch the power lines. Hello! 15 metres. That's uh, quite high, actually, 15 metres, isn't it? What's it doing? It's turning around. Here it comes. It's coming back. I've not lost it. It's coming back. <laughs> I'm over here. You've turned around. Here I am. Come on then. In you come. Good girl. Good girl. If you do want to do a little bit more with it, you can also, like I said, this dolly track feature is really nice. And I did that on the uh, on my GS first ride. Of course, if, if you've got a camera, dr drones, they're quite not, you can hear it wearing away. So if you're doing, you know, talking, you'd have the, the drone whirring in the background. But with the app, the app takes out the noise of the propellers. So let me show you that briefly. Hang on. External mic. What did I do with the external mic? For my telephony, telephony device. Here it is. So I've also got this mic. So for this, I could take my helmet off. But I'll leave my helmet on because I've got the mic. So this is why I've got my helmet on. Let's put that in there. We're just, we're, for, for the purposes of this... I'm just going to clip this somewhere. Right, let's get the screw. So go into my hover app. There it is. So this is the guffer you'd have to do if you had a normal, a normal drone. Oh, there's there's an update to do. Updates are just wirelessly. But I'm not going to do the update for now. Go to the device. Ah, it's already connected, I think. Hover settings. Yeah, it's already connected. So you can go into the menu and choose, look like the zoom out or do six meters. Follow. You know, there's it, all the options for the different things here. So dolly track will do five minutes. I'm going to change that. Uh, looks like dolly track. Mm, oh, we'll just continue until I say stop. Let's do five minutes, actually. Five minutes is probably enough. Switch to custom mode. This is the dolly track. So if I leave the app open now, when I start my dolly track, it will record my audio onto my phone and then it will sync, as I say, and do some magic to take out the sound of the propellers. I'll show you. Here we go. Five minutes dolly track. Hello, hello. Dolly track. Looks like I'm recording audio, hopefully. Now it will basically follow me as I walk and talk. We're gonna, okay, we're gonna do that. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Welcome along to the channel. And as you can tell, hopefully, if, if the audio is recorded properly, it's you can hear me, but it's taken out the sound of the propeller. So if I switch to the GoPro audio, you can hear you can hear it, can't you? But if I switch to the app recording, then you can't hear them. It's a little bit more muffled because it's doing some sort of processing. But you can't hear the noise of the drone. So it's very clever, and if I want to go back this way, walk and talk going backwards, hello and welcome to the Tracer GT Plus. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's clever. It is really good, and that gives a sort of really cool shot 
that so you wouldn't normally be able to pick shoes. So. Once you've had enough, this is what I've had a little bit of trouble with, is getting under it and say, look, now we're done now. We're done now. Don't you run away. We're finished. Come back. We're finished now. <laughs> this is the only thing that could be a little bit, oh, trying to get it out of the dolly trap, trying to catch it. Look, my arm's out. That means I want you to come home now. My arm's out. That means come home. Come along now. Come on now. Come on. That's it. Look. We're right, we're finished now. Don't run away. Come on, we're, fi we're finished dolly tracking. Come back here. <laughs> Drones these days. Mind of their own. Mind of their bloody own. Look, come on, we're, we're done now. Well, oh, don't you run off. So maybe it works for five minutes and you've got to stop it. Land. So I can, I can bring my app out and tell it to come back. <laughs> As you can see, it is pretty cool. So the one thing I want to do now is show you it following me riding a bike, because it will do that. It's only got a maximum speed of about 20 mile an hour though, so obviously you can't go over 20 mile an hour. Because it's completely autonomous and you've got no control over it while you're riding, you need somewhere which isn't on a public road, obviously. What it would be really good for is sort of off-road, off-road stuff. You know, there's some really good videos of people on mountain bikes with it following them down sort of mountain bike runs. Fantastic. Now I can just go on with riding the bike. It takes a little while to get used to the fact that without stop worrying about the drone, you know? Let me put the sides down now. Let's get on. You can't help but keep looking back to make sure it's still there. <laughs> Uh, we won't bother with the gloves just for this quick demonstration up here. And there we go. I've got a, I've got a little drone following me. A little baby. A little baby following me along the road. Like I say, it's not got any collision warning in it. You know, it will crash if it, if it runs into something. But it's sort of, you know, it's using the optics to realise if it's going to hit something rather than sort of an infrared sensor, if you see what I mean. Is it still behind me? I can't even see. These people are going to wonder what on earth is going on. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a funny look. That person's got a drone following them. And I say, I think I've got to about 20 miles an hour. Gosh, it's getting a bit rough this road, isn't it? Look at this. Oh, bloody hell. This is off. I said I'm going to do some off-road with it, didn't I? This is literally off-road. Can I see it behind me anymore? I can no longer see it. <laughs> oh, I can, it's right there. So there you go, that, that's, that's how it'll work. Still following me. So I mean, that's a really quick, easy way if you want to get a little bit of follow me footage while you're on your motorcycle. But I think if we push the speed up, 20, I think I'm sort of losing it now. And I think if I lose it, it will just stand there and dumb out. So you've got to make sure you don't go too fast to lose it. And I think it's uh, it's just sitting back there now, isn't it? It's lost to me. And that is why you've got to do it on a private road where it's not going to be any traffic, because now it's sort of sat hovering at car height, certainly van height. So you've got to be a little bit, little bit careful. Private roads only, and very quiet ones at that. And there's the old girl. Oh, my lovely. Come on then. Back you come to daddy. Simple. Bang it in your pocket. Just as a comparison, the hover kit compared to my DJI Mavic 3 Mini, which is like the smallest drone that DJI make, 250 grams or 225 grams, is that is that big. That is how big the Mavic Mini is in comparison with the hover. Let's just whip it out. 250 grams with battery, 125 grams with battery. But with the, with the Mini, you think, well, that's not too bad, Chops, actually. What are you talking about? But then, of course, you need the controller, which is bigger than the actual drone. You've got to mess about getting the, uh, pulling out these and screwing them onto the controls. Then you've got to go into the app on your phone, you know, mount your phone at the top here. You've got to pull all this out, mount your phone in there. Then, of course, you find out there's an update to your app 
and you need to <laughs> you need to download before it will let you fly. You've got to calibrate the drone for the for the GP. It's a lot more faffing than that. As well as the drone and the controller, you then need your battery pack, and then in the end you end up with all this equipment plus your phone and a bag, you know, whereas opposed to that is everything you need. It can do everything on its own. Yeah, you can't go up and get massive high cinematic shots like you can on a drone this is obviously 4k footage as well that is just uh, 2.1k i think 2.8k um, at 30 or, or 1080p at 60 so if there's one thing i would say with the hover it could do with is a better higher quality camera it needs to be 4k really but for youtube stuff it's just about passable at that 2.1k but yeah ideally 4k so come on the uh, sort it out hover we want a 4k version of that but you know it's just convenient on a bike you don't want to be labored down with a lot of a lot of equipment it's always got a bike like this with panniers but if you're on your sports bike you don't want all of this stuff to carry all of this weight that is just so easy so not only is it light not only is it more convenient because it's smaller there's less guffage it's just one button push it off you go it's time that's what it's saving you time the actual hover is the same size as my battery pack for the Mavic 3 Mini. Unbelievable. Put this back now. I was going to take this out for a fly, but I, I can't even be bothered to get this in the air because it's too much. I can't be bothered. It's too much guffage. I know it's guffage, so I'm just going to put it away again. And that is the honest truth, you know, of why you don't see more more drone footage because you know you've got to, you've got to give yourself a good half an hour to mess about to uh, to make it worth your while. So in the end, you end up thinking, I can't be bothered. <laughs> when you smash it to pieces like that. Watch the face. <laughs> 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 